understanding 2D and 3D shapes. In the before chapters, you have learned about the basic geometrical shapes like triangle, square, rectangle, so on. These shapes are 2D shapes. That means they have only two dimensions. That is the length and the breadth. If you look at some of these objects, the solid objects like a box, a matchbox, a brick. These are the solid objects and they have three dimensions. They are the length, the breadth and the height or depth. So the shapes that have three dimensions are called three dimensional shapes or 3D shapes. In this chapter, we are going to learn different types of 3D shapes. Let us learn about cuboid. Cuboid is a very familiar 3D shape. In our daily life, we see objects like an eraser, a matchbox, a brick, a box. All these are in cuboid shape. Let us learn about the different parts of a cuboid. The cuboid has got a surface which is called as a face and the corner points of this cuboid are called vertices whereas these edges are called edges. So the cuboid has got faces, vertices and edges. Now let us see how many faces does a cuboid have. Faces. One, two, three, and the bottom one four, right side one five, and six. A cuboid has got six faces. Now let us see how many vertices it has got. Vertices. The number of vertices of a cuboid 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the total number of vertices a cuboid has 8 vertices. Now let us look at the edges. How many edges it has got? 1, 2, 3, 4 so the top 4 and 5 6 and 7 8 9 and 10 11 12 so a cuboid has got 12 edges now let us learn about another 3d shape cube the dice is in the shape of a cube the cube is also a 3D shape which has got the same number of faces, vertices and edges just like a cuboid. 12 edges, 8 vertices and 6 faces. This number is exactly the same with a cuboid. Both the cuboid and cube has got the same number of faces, vertices and edges. Then what is the difference? between a cube and a cuboid. The main difference between a cube and a cuboid is the cube has got height that means repeat the cube has got length, breadth and height all these three are equal. The value of the length of a cube, the breadth of the cube and the height of the cube are equal. When they are equal, then only it is called as a cube. Whereas, in case of a cuboid, the length, the breadth and the height are of different values. That is the main difference between a cube and a cuboid. The next 3D shape that we are going to see is that cylinder. Objects like a candle, a gas cylinder and a wooden log, these are in cylindrical shape. So this cylindrical shape has got height and diameter.
Let us observe this candle. If we keep this candle in this horizontal position, it stands. The surface of the candle on which a candle stands is called a base. So base is the surface of the candle which lets it to stand. The surface of the candle on which it rolls, it is called as curved surface. So when the candle is horizontally laid down, it rolls. So on which surface it is rolling? It is rolling on the curved surface. So these cylindrical objects, they have got a curved surface and a base. They erect or they stand on the base and they roll on the curved surface. Now let us learn about another 3D shape cone. In our daily life, we see the objects like ice cream and a birthday cap. So these two are in cone shape. Basically this birthday cap is in cone shape and if you see this ice cream cone, if you invert it, it gets into this cone shape. So a cone has got a circular base. If we look at the cone, If you mark three points like this, A, O, B, the distance between this edge of this circular end of the cone, from this point to the center of this circular base, A, O, it becomes the radius. And the O, B, the O, B, it becomes the height of the cone. height of the cone. So from the base, the circular end of the cone to the tip of the cone. So this is the height of the cone and the point from the edge of the circular base of the cone to the center is the radius of the cone. Let us see how to make a cone. Draw a circle on a thick paper using a compass. Draw two lines from the center to the circumference here. Now cut this part with scissors. Now it looks like this. Now join the ends OA and OB with adhesive tape. Your cap is ready now. Decorate it as your wish. In this way we can make a cone with a paper. Spear is an another 3D shape. In our daily life, we see objects or shapes like balls and ladoos are in spherical shape. Even the globe, the earth is in a spherical shape. So sphere, they roll on all sides. The next 3D shape we are going to learn is about the prism. In your physics laboratory, you might have seen glass prisms because they are used in experiments with light. A prism has got five faces. Out of these five faces, two faces are triangular in shape. The remaining faces are either in rectangular or spherical shape. If the prism has got rectangular faces, the prism is called as rectangular prism. Pyramid. Pyramid is a solid shape with a base and a vertex. This is the vertex and this is the base. This prism has got a square base and other faces are triangular. So all these triangular faces meet at a common point that is the vertex. For a triangular pyramid even the base also will be in triangular shape. And this kind of pyramid is called as a square pyramid. Now we are going to learn some points about polygons. Already we have learnt about the polygons in basic geometrical ideas chapter. 
We know that a polygon means it should have at least three sides. So the shape that has got three sides or more than three sides is called a polygon. Polygons are categorized according to the number of sides. Now let us see the different types of polygons. Let us look at these polygons. Here is a polygon with three sides. So the number of sides, three, and it is called as a triangle. Now the next one. This polygon has got four sides and this is called a quadrilateral. This one has got five sides and this is called as pentagon. And this one has got six sides and it is called hexagon. The polygon with seven sides is called septagon. And the polygon with eight sides is called octagon. So, in this way, these polygons are named basing on their number of sides. The polygon with three sides is called as a triangle. The polygon with four sides is called as a quadrilateral. The polygon with five sides is a pentagon and with six sides is a hexagon and seven sides is a septagon and with eight sides it is called an octagon. Now let us try to understand what is a regular polygon. A polygon for which all the angles and all the sides are of same value, we call it as a regular polygon. So for example, if we see this triangle, here all the angles are same. Such a triangle is called as equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. Here all the three angles are of same value. In the same way, here we have a quadrilateral. If all the sides and angles are equal, now we call this quadrilateral as a square. Here all the sides have the same value and at the same time all the angles are of same value. We call this as a square. Square is also an example of a regular polygon. For example, if a pentagon has got the same value sides, all the sides of same value, same length and at the same time the angles are also same. Now we call this pentagon as a regular pentagon. In the same way a regular hexagon, heptagon, so on.